Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we're gonna take a closer look on the new Asus Zenfone 4 Max in this large media kit box that you can have because this box is only for us. Yes, this is the Asus Zenfone 4 Max and this actually this box is actually a projector, a uh, mobile projector for smartphones. That's why we have a glass over here. I'm gonna show that to you later on. Uh, okay, so inside we have here the uh, uh, the review kit of the Zenfone 4 Max. Of course, we have here the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. Yeah, I just throw it off. Alright, so according to this one, it comes with a one Zenfone 4 Max, one Zenfone 4 Max brochure for your reference, right? So we also have the Max Reviewer's Guide and a one exposed card, a foldable card for you to experience a wide angle view, wide view dual cameras. Now, why do I need this one? So we also have here the notice and disclaimer. Nah, I'm not gonna read that one. Alright, so the Asus Zenfone 4 Max, as I just told earlier, this is the Asus Zenfone 4 Max, comes with a 5.5 inch HD display. It's not full HD, it's only HD. And then we also got here a 3 gigs of RAM. It's running on Snapdragon 430 processor, which is one of uh, the best processors today when it comes to entry-level smartphones. Then we also got 3 gigs of RAM. There's an 8 plus 13 megapixel uh, rear camera, the wide angle lens, the 8 megapixel, while the standard is 13 megapixel. Then we also got a 5 megapixel front camera. We also got a 5,000 milliamps of battery. And of course, uh, that's your LTE. Dual SIM and comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. The one that we got is the black one, so we're gonna check it out later. So I'm really excited. I haven't opened this one yet, so I'm gonna open the Zenfone 4 Max for the first time. But yeah, I've seen it before during the launch of the Zenfone 4 in the Philippines. So, yes, what are we waiting for? So let's unbox and let's take a closer look on the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. Okay guys, so this is the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. So this is their long-lasting smartphone in the Asus Zenfone 4 series as this one packs a 5,000 milliamps of battery. Okay, so what are we waiting for? So let's unbox and let's take a closer look on the smartphone. Okay, so unboxing this one. Alright, so uh, nothing really special aside from that we love photo. It means like this heart in Korea. Very popular. Okay, so this one comes with uh, the warranty and the everything, the papers and everything, the stickers. And of course, it comes with a jelly case. Okay, so we wouldn't mind the jelly case. Okay, so uh, let's check out what's inside the smartphone. So let's turn it on and uh, we'll talk about the Asus Zenfone 4 Max later after we unbox this one. Okay, so I'm going to remove the plastic. This is the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. I'm gonna place it over here and then place the plastic over there. Okay, so um, opening this one would reveal that there's a USB OTG that comes with Asus Zenfone 4 Max and unfortunately it's still using micro USB and not USB type C and then of course we got here uh, the USB cable it's micro USB again there's the charger. By the way, the charger uh, is actually 5 volts, 2 amperes. So that's not really the fast charging that I expect from Qualcomm, but it's faster than most smartphones, okay? It's 2 amperes. Uh, and then we also have here the earphones and in earphones. Pretty good. And of course, uh, the earbuds if you want to change that one. Okay, so that's it for the box of the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. So let's check out the smartphone and let us know what we think of the smartphone. So give me a second and I'll just clean it up and let's check out the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. Alright guys, so we have here the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. As you could see here, uh, this is the long-lasting smartphone of Asus. And this one packs a 5,000 milliamps of battery inside. Alright, so uh, of course since we have a big battery on the smartphone, the smartphone is actually thick and it's actually heavy compared to its uh, rudders and to other smartphones. But of course, that's understandable and reasonable since this one comes with a 5000 milliamps of battery. We also have here a 5.5 inch IPS HD display and actually looks really good compared to its uh, brothers that has an HD display like uh, 
the previous Zen phones and uh, compared to the, Zen, to the selfie. I actually prefer the display of this one. I don't know why. And uh, of course, we have here uh, the button. So this one is the home button and also the recent apps button and of course the back button. So the home button of the smartphone is actually also access the fingerprint scanner of the smartphone and you can press down the home button similar to the selfie selfie pro and most smartphones this 2017 on the front we got here the led flash the 8 megapixel front camera we're gonna try out the camera of the smartphone later and then at the back we got here the dual lens camera it's actually a 16 megapixel camera and uh it's actually actually do uh wide angle shots i'm gonna show that to you later on today we also got here uh the led flash the back we got here the plastic back it's actually it's, i'm not actually sure if this is one is plastic it actually feels like metal but it kind of feels like plastic and then we also got here uh the lines over here it looks pretty smooth and what i like about it is uh the solid build and its design yes you know the design of the smartphone is quite uh, generic these days i mean a lot of smartphone has this design but holding the smartphone it feels pretty good despite its weight it's heavy but again it is pretty good it's actually ergonomic the curves are good however again the smartphone is quite heavy on the right we got here the power button and of course uh the volume rocker at the top we got here the 3.5 mm audio jack and below we got here the micro usb port along with the speaker grill all right so the smartphone is actually using a new zen ui 4.0 i believe it's 4.0 yeah yeah it is 4.0 so this one comes with a fewer bloatwares compared to other Zen phones. So this one is also running on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. And we're gonna actually check that one out. So about, yeah, that's actually 7.1.1. What I like about it is that it's clean, it's faster, and it's even better compared to the previous uh, Zen UIs. We also have here uh, the application called Power Master that lets you manage the battery of the smartphone also the apps that are running on the smartphone so basically this one maximizes and, and optimizes the smartphone so that you have a longer and better battery life so you could actually do two times lifespan uh extend your battery's life somewhere up to two times by turning off some features right so you could also do reverse charging you would actually use the zenphone max to charge other smartphones uh by just using the usb otg cable that comes in the smartphone we also have here uh, the virus scan, auto start manager, the battery remote. If you want more performance, just put in performance if you love gaming on the smartphone. And you could actually have super saving if you know you're going out of town. There's no electricity. Uh, you could actually, actually, we could, as you could see here we got standby of 97 hours, and we have we only have a 39% of battery. That's pretty good if you're just into calling and uh, you know texting. So the battery save options, battery usage, boosting by you know. Uh, freeing up some memory pretty good one of the features that I really like on the Zen phones and yeah uh, the smartphone is actually faster and it's pretty good and this one comes with a beauty live uh, application that lets you do a uh, beautification on Facebook live on Instagram on YouTube or whatever so you could actually adjust your beautification on the smartphone yeah and there we go so you can see from zero as you can see here my pimples to one out to ten that's pretty smooth that's pretty clean. Right, so uh, let's check out the camera of uh, the smartphone. So actually, you could do 8 megapixel front camera shots. You could also do full HD. Uh, on the rear, we could actually uh, do pro, sh uh, pro mode and up to 13 megapixel camera. Uh, and also a 16, uh, full HD uh, of uh, video. Right, so I'm going to show you how the dual lens camera of the smartphone works. I'm gonna check out the camera so you can see here. This is the camera of the smartphone. So this is a 4x3, 10x16x9. As you could see here, uh, the camera resolution, you know, up to 30 megapixel only for 4x3. Then by taking a photo, as you could see here, it can actually shoot uh, pretty fast. That's what I like about the smartphone. As you could see here, uh, it isn't the best one. We don't have the best lighting conditions on this one, but it's real better than the Asus Zenfone 3 Max that uh, we have reviewed before. Um, we have a dual lens camera of the smartphone, and you could actually do wide-angle shots on this one. So as you could see, I'm gonna take uh, using the single, the standard lens, and then the wide-angle lens. 
There we go. So as you could see here, this one is the wide angle lens camera of the smartphone and this one is the standard. So uh, one thing that I've noticed is that the normal or the standard lens can capture better photos compared to the wide angle lens. However, taking wide angle lens, you know, uh, this one is really better when you're taking goofy selfies or landscape photos. The wide angle lens is just better. It isn't the best landscape, uh, the wide, the best wide angle lens on a smartphone, but it's pretty cool to see on a smartphone at below 10,000 pesos. Uh, there's no portrait mode yet, but I've asked Asus before during their launch and they expect the portrait mode coming soon on the Asus Zenfone 4 Max. For right now, we can't tell you uh, about the battery of the smartphone. I'm not sure how this one will last, but considering that this one has a 5,000 mAh of battery, this one can last more than a day or probably two or more depending on your use. So yes, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now is the time to subscribe. So once again, I'm John of JamOnline.ph and thanks for watching our unboxing hands-on of the Asus Zenfone 4 Max.